Let's look at a quirky little Excel behavior that tends to make your formulas a lot longer than they need to be. Take for example this Excel file where I need to calculate the discount and the tax. I have those rates on a separate sheet down here called rates. So discount is 20% and the tax rate is 8.75%. When I write the formula for the discount, I'll start with equals, move over to the rate sheet, and click the 20% discount. Then I'll press multiply, and here's the problem. When I switch back to sales, it places the fully qualified sheet name in the cell. And now when I click on the cell I want to multiply the discount rate by and press enter, you can see the fully qualified name for both the discount rate reference and the subtotal reference. I don't really need the sheet reference for the sheet that holds the subtotal because that can be implied. I should be able to just say D2. Now the next formula to calculate the tax, I'll say equals, Go over to the rates sheet, click on the tax rate, multiply, open parentheses, and when I return to sales, I get that explicit reference to the sales sheet again. And then I'll say subtotal minus the discount. Again, another explicit fully qualified reference. So these formulas, although they work, they're much longer than they need to be because I don't need the explicit references to the sales sheet. But I get them by virtue of switching back and forth between the sheets. Without manually typing the cell addresses, if you still want to use the point and click method to write your formulas, here's how we can do it and not generate these fully qualified references. The trick is to open a second window of Excel for this same file. So to do that, we're gonna go up to View, and in the Window group, we're going to choose New Window. So that's going to open up a second instance of this file, but you're not really opening the file twice, you're just seeing it duplicated in another window. So what we wanna do is we wanna switch over to the Rates sheet, and then go up to View, Arrange All, and then you can choose either Tiled, Horizontal, Vertical, or Cascaded Arrangement. For this case, Horizontal and Vertical tend to work best. I'm going to choose Horizontal. So now with the windows stacked atop one another, I can see both sheets at the same time. When I write my formula, I'll say Equals. I'll then go down to the lower window and click on the discount rate. Now, of course, that needs the fully qualified reference because you're pointing to a cell in a different sheet. But now when I type in asterisk for multiply and return back to the upper window and click on the subtotal, I don't get that fully qualified reference. It's like I never left the sheet in the first place. Now I have a formula that's almost half the length. Let's write the tax formula, equals, go to the other window, click on the tax rate, type in asterisk for multiply, open parentheses, and then we'll choose the current sheet subtotal. Notice the implied sheet reference. All we have is the cell address, minus the discount. Again, we only have the cell reference. The sheet name is implied. Close parentheses, accept the formula, and our formula is easily half the length. Now I could have referenced the cells on the sales sheet before referencing the cells on the rates sheet when writing the formulas, which could have also mitigated this. But when you're writing a more complex formula and you're switching back and forth between the two sheets, perhaps multiple times, using the switching method, you can't avoid the explicit sheet references. You could always edit them out, but for my money, opening up a second window and selecting things in the side-by-side -side method avoids this problem entirely. Thanks for watching, and if you have a special request for a video, feel free to put it in the comments. And remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.